Number 10. Terror in the Mountains There's something terrifying living in the mountains near Port Chatham, Alaska. Ever since people began to vanish and die there in the early 1930s, there have been rumors of a horrible beast living in the Kenai Mountains. Whether it's Bigfoot, the Yeti, or some even more sinister freak, nobody knows for sure. This is one of the most remote regions in Alaska, and it is absolutely steeped in legend and fear. Back in 1973, the local Anchorage newspaper even ran a piece about a group of cannery workers who went into the mountains to hunt sheep and then never returned. Then later on, a dismembered body was found swept to the bottom of the mountain after a series of heavy rains, and the body had wounds that did not resemble anything close to a bear attack or even a puma attack. There are plenty of other rumors as well. Some hunters in the area have allegedly found man-like footprints over 18 inches long. According to the locals, whatever lives in the mountains is half man and half beast. While there's never been any physical proof documented, the tales of something horrible living in the snowy foothills are plentiful and, quite frankly, too spooky to ignore. Would you dare to hike in these mountains? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Number 9. The Slide Cemetery If you ever found yourself wandering through the Klondike Gold Rush National Park in Alaska, you might be extremely shocked and a little terrified to discover the only graveyard within the confines of the park. It's an absolutely ghoulish place, and not the type of location you want to visit on your destination wedding. The graveyard was built for those who died during the 1898 avalanche that struck the Chilkoot Trail and claimed up to 100 lives. Even though it was spring when the avalanche struck, it still had destructive force, and pretty much everyone in the danger zone was wiped out. After the devastating avalanche, Nobody really used the Chilkoot Trail anymore. Traffic vanished, and the local village turned into a ghost town. Now, the Slide Cemetery is the only thing that remains of the area's historical significance. While this obviously isn't something that was ever lost and then found, it's definitely a place that could freak someone out if they came across it by accident, considering it's in the middle of basically nowhere. Plus, who knows what kind of ghosts or spirits are lurking in the quiet Alaskan woods. Number 8. Alien Critter this creepy alien creature was hooked off the coast of Alaska, and it kind of looks like dried spaghetti. As reported by the New York Post, the critter was reeled in and documented during a halibut fishing expedition in August. After uploading the video of this weird, squirming thing online, many people were wondering just what in the world the odd creature was. Some people claimed it to be an alien ramen beast, while others said it should be thrown back into the ocean where it belonged. But ultimately, the weird critter was identified as a basket star. Basket stars are a species of echinoderm, which are closely related to starfish. They hang out on the ocean floor and use their spindly tentacles to trap prey as it passes by. It's a very strange thing, because thing really is the best word for it. And of course it was found in Alaska of all places. If you are wondering, the people who caught the sea animal did indeed put it back in the water without harming it. Number 7. Vampire Fish Falling from the Sky the last thing anyone wants falling from the sky is vampire fish. But it happened anyway in Alaska. Within the span of just a week, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game got so many calls from residents in Fairbanks that there was no denying a problem was afoot. What was the problem? It was vampire fish dropping to the ground from the heavens. Live vampire fish were found in parking lots, on residents' lawns, and many other strange places. It turned out that the monsters falling from the sky were actually lamprey fish weird beasts that look more like eels or snakes than fish and can grow to be over one foot in length. But what makes these horrible sea creatures really terrifying is that they don't have jaws, but rather a mouth filled with small and very sharp teeth that it likes to use to suck the blood and fluids out of its prey. Imagine a foot-long leech dropping from the sky, landing on your neck, then sucking out all your blood. That's basically what was going on in Alaska. According to a report from the CBS, the reason these vampire fish were falling from the sky is because seagulls were picking them up in their bills and then accidentally dropping them as they flew over Fairbanks. And that's really all there is to it. Number 6. The Kushtaka The Kushtaka is a shapeshifter. It's a mythical creature from the folklore of the Tlingit peoples of the northwest region of Alaska. Another name you might know it by is the infamous Otter Man, said to plague the frozen and remote lands of Alaska. While the Kushtaka has never actually been found, there have been sightings of this strange creature ever since people have lived in Alaska. It's definitely one of the stranger rumors to go on in that isolated part of the world. First, the Kushtaka can take many different shapes, but it generally prefers the shape of a human otter. 
It also imitates the cries of babies or the screams of women to lure victims close to a river where it can then eat them and do other weird stuff. Of course, it's probably not a thing that exists. But if you ask anyone in Alaska, it's guaranteed they'll have at least one or two stories of someone they know running into the Kushtaka on a cold and dreary night. Number 5. The Alaskan Triangle The Alaskan Triangle is not so much about something found as it is about a lot of someone's gone missing. The Alaskan Triangle is the area between Anchorage, Juneau, and Barrow. Inside this massive expanse of wilderness, you can find mountains, boreal forests, alpine lakes, and huge stretches of nothingness. But what's really scary about the Alaskan Triangle is that more people have gone missing in the area than anywhere else in the United States of America. It all began in 1972 when a small aircraft carrying the United States House Majority Leader Hale Boggs vanished into thin air. For over a month, a massive manhunt was ongoing, including over 40 military aircraft. They never found a trace of him. And that was only the beginning. It's been reported that at least 16,000 people, including tourists, hikers, and airplane passengers, have vanished into thin air within the Alaskan Triangle ever since 1988. That's more than twice the national average for missing persons. What exactly is going on inside this triangle is anybody's guess. It could be aliens, it could be monsters, or it could just be the deadly Alaskan landscape. Number 4. Mysterious Lake Shark In Alaska's Lake Yamna, a biologist believes he has spotted a mysterious creature. This happened very recently. However, rather than the biologist having spotted a strange sea beast, experts are claiming it's probably just a massive sleeper shark, the same kind of shark that could be behind the famous Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Sleeper sharks are also known as Greenland sharks, and it's pretty typical to find them in the waters around Alaska. They can grow to be 14 feet in length and are some seriously mean monsters. If there were indeed a sleeper shark inside the lake, it would have plenty of fish to eat and not a single natural predator. And while the size, shape, and color of the sleeper shark match the description of the unknown monster sighting, it's something of a mystery as to how exactly it could have gotten in the lake in the first place, and how it could have remained thriving in such a small area for so long. Nobody knows for sure what exactly was seen in the lake. It could be a shark, it could be an unidentified beast of some sort. We just don't know. But one thing is for certain. Something strange is lurking inside Lake Yamna. Number 3. Ice Age Babies Here's a pretty unnerving discovery from Alaska. Just a couple of years ago, archaeologists unearthed an ancient hunting camp complete with the remains of infants. It's definitely a little strange, but about 11,500 years ago, a band of hunters buried a pair of human babies in a shallow pit in what is currently Alaska. These ancient babies were found surrounded by ancient weapons, the new discovery is giving archaeologists a unique and somewhat terrifying look at the old cultural practices at the end of the previous Ice Age, right around the time people started to colonize North America. Prior to this find, experts didn't really have any evidence that there had been settlements or traditional systems in Alaska 10,000 years ago. According to an archaeologist from the University of Alaska in Fairbanks, the child skeletons are showing experts what the ancient lifestyle was like in Alaska back then. Because the infants had been buried with useful weaponry, scientists believe that there must have been a deep sense of loss because of the death of the children. It shows that even though hunting was important to those early people, remembering their dead was just as crucial. Number 2. Disgusting Sea Beast Check out this terrifying and disgusting sea creature that washed ashore in Alaska just recently. It's an absolute freak show. It washed ashore in a place named Gustavus and was initially thought to be some kind of hideously deformed halibut. A worker for the Department of Transportation had been checking the docks when he made the weird discovery. What looks like a nightmare from the deepest depths of the ocean actually turned out to be a ragfish. According to a professional naturalist, the washed-up ragfish is one of the only observations of the animal in the past 40 years. It's something of an anomaly in the animal kingdom. They typically live in waters about 4,000 feet deep, with a body composition of mostly cartilage, making them soft and limp. According to the experts, such a sighting could mean that there's something changing in the Alaskan waters, deep down where nobody can see. Number 1. Arctic Dinosaur Last on our list is something maybe a bit more spectacular than terrifying. In 2014, scientists discovered a new kind of Arctic dinosaur that lived in Alaska 70 million years ago. It was discovered in the Liskam Bonehead, an area that until recently had been filled with nothing but the fossils of duck-billed dinosaurs. Out of the 6,000 fossils pulled from the quarry, 99% of them have been the same kind of duck-billed dino. 
but this new fossil is adding some serious variety. It's not just a duck-billed dinosaur, it's a crested duck-billed dinosaur. The major difference is that it had a strange crest on its head, whereas the other dinos didn't. This find is amazing primarily because it shows that a wide variety of life indeed thrived in the polar conditions of Alaska millions of years ago. Apparently, most of them were huge dinosaurs with duck bills, and one of them had a crest on its head. It might not seem scary or terrifying, but imagine a herd of weird dinosaurs picking you apart with their bills. That should be enough to make anyone a little uncomfortable. Number 10. Calico, California There are a lot of freaky ghost towns scattered across America, and Calico is one of the creepiest. It's arguably the best experience you can have in a real ghost town from way back in the 1800s. This place was first settled in California in 1880, and much of its dark and troublesome past can still be found in the preserved buildings today. It's situated in the Mojave Desert and over 100 years ago had been a thriving mining community. There had been about 500 silver mines in the area, with a population of roughly 3,500 people. However, the dream died in 1890 when silver prices crashed and by 1900, Calico was a completely abandoned town. It's remained abandoned that way ever since, with the exception of a 1950s purchase that turned Calico into a living museum and tourist attraction. But this place is not without its ghost stories. One of the biggest tales of paranormal activity involves a woman named Lucy Lane, who's the most commonly spotted entity in all of Calico. It's been said that she used to run the general store in town with her husband, and they'd been among the residents who moved out after the silver prices crashed. Then, for whatever reason, they returned in 1916 after the town was abandoned. They lived the rest of their lives in the town alone. So it does make sense that the lonely ghost of Lucy Lane would cling to the place where she spent most of her life. You can apparently see her wandering home from the general store, and sometimes she can even be spotted as a ghostly apparition standing behind the counter, waiting to sell you horse feed and other old-timey stuff. Number 9. Rhyolite, Nevada The old ghost town of Rhyolite, Nevada is definitely creepy. Some of the original town buildings still stand, although they're nothing more than crumbling ruins at this point. And while the town itself can be a little spooky at night, the main attraction here in terms of creepiness is the cemetery. It's actually been labeled the spookiest cemetery in all of Nevada. It's known properly as the Bullfrog Rhyolite Cemetery, and just one look is enough to know it must be haunted. The cemetery is located a little ways from the main town, and some of its notable features include wooden grave markers that are at least a century old, and several human-shaped mounds of rocks that likely have a body buried not far beneath the surface. It's oddly calm with the vast desert stretching on in all directions. But at night, you definitely get the sense that you're in a place you're not supposed to be. There have been alleged reports of creepy sounds emanating from the graveyard in the night, and even orbs of light that have been spotted hovering above the ground between the graves. Many paranormal experts believe this place is haunted by at least a handful of restless spirits. It could be all the unmarked graves, or it could just be a side effect of the eerily quiet atmosphere. Hey, if you're gonna hang out in Vegas and need a break, this might just be the place for you. Number 8. Cahalba, Alabama Cahalba was once the capital city of Alabama, but now it's nothing but a bunch of haunted ruins turned into an archaeological site. This is a far stretch from the abandoned desert towns of Nevada or California, as this place has the thickness of the forest to give it an extra creepy vibe. There are still some buildings left from the original days of the town, including remains of the brick columns from a long-forgotten mansion, a church, an old slave quarters, some cemeteries, and a few homes. The capital was actually moved from the town because of serious flooding in 1825, and residents quickly abandoned the site afterwards. Perhaps the creepiest place of all is the St. Luke's Episcopal Church, which still stands today even though it was built in 1850. It's a carpenter Gothic-style church with a sharply pointed roof, thin glass windows, and faded wooden walls, and it looks more like something out of the Amityville Horror than any modern church. And while there have not been too many ghost stories surrounding this place, you can bet the spirits here are restless. It once held a federal prison, which was used as a camp for Union soldiers during the Civil War, and the number of people who died back in the early 1800s is probably a lot. There's even a slave burial ground originally founded in 1819, with the last known burial being 1957. So you know there are some seriously bad vibes, especially at night. And now for a really cold place. 
But first, be sure to subscribe for more awesome videos, and remember to let me know if you've been to any of these towns in the comments below. Number 7. Kennecott, Alaska The Kennecott Copper Mines in Alaska is definitely the creepiest place in the far north. We already know that Alaska is littered with abandoned settlements from both the US and Russia, deserted prospecting sites, and the wreckage of countless doomed expeditions. But Kennecott is something truly special. It has the single greatest concentration of paranormal activity in all of Alaska. And it was also one of the richest mines ever back in its day. It even had an old railroad to haul ore up and down the snowy mountains. Today, the entire town of Kinnicott is abandoned 4,000 feet up on the mountainside. And as society encroaches once again with attempts to redevelop the area, phantoms have been spotted more than ever. There are persisting ghost stories, all the way from the old tracks up into the decrepit and abandoned buildings of the mine. The thing is that because of its picturesque location up in the mountains, the vast remoteness of the place, and its reputation for being haunted, many tourists make the dangerous journey up into the mines. And according to a lot of their stories, they have seen some pretty spooky things. According to Anchorage Daily News, there have been multiple reports of grave markers going missing, as if moved by the spectral hands of ghosts. The same news report also claims that in the late 1990s, when development began on some government housing in the area, workers reported hearing the voices of phantoms so often that the work became unbearable and the project was subsequently canceled. Number 6. South Pass City, Wyoming Wyoming is one of the spookiest states in America. Thanks to its vast wilderness, a dark trip in the forest can quickly turn into the haunting experience of a lifetime. And that brings us to South Pass City, an old gold boom town along the Oregon Trail. It's primarily abandoned now with nothing but a few old wood structures left in the vicinity. But there does remain some horrifying stories that make the town creepier than most others in Wyoming. It's all about a woman named Polly Bartlett and her father, who ran a small inn just south of the main city. They would offer travelers a cooked meal and some good hospitality. But what the travelers didn't know is that Polly and her father would feed them arsenic inside of their steak or whiskey, strip them of everything they owned, then bury them out back in the cattle field. It's been estimated that Polly and her father murdered at least 22 men who made the fateful mistake of stopping at the Bartlett Inn. This horror hotel still remains in the town today, and you can bet it would be the most unsettling place to spend the night. Who knows just how many more bodies are buried beneath the floorboards? Number 5. Centralia, Pennsylvania Centralia in Pennsylvania is probably the most well-known abandoned town in all of the USA. That's because over 50 years ago, a mine fire started burning beneath the town and is still burning today. The problem was that the coals inside of the pit began to burn, and even after spending around $7 million to put out the fire, it just kept burning. By the 1980s, the fire raging under Centralia had spread so far that dangerous and toxic gases were seeping into people's homes. With only about 1,000 residents living in half as many houses, the government decided everyone needed to move. And so, Centralia was abandoned overnight. Well, not quite abandoned. There are still about six people left in the town. The streets are empty and bare. Only a couple of houses are still standing. The underground fire is still spitting fumes out through the cracked pavement. But there are still a couple of countrymen who live in the town and even attend the small white church. It's the Blessed Virgin Mary Ukrainian Catholic Church, and it stands relatively unaffected by the destruction. Imagine stumbling upon this town through the forest and seeing the six only townspeople gathered in front of the spooky church while flames and fumes spat up through the ground around them. You'd think you walked into a nightmare. Of course, you can't actually see flames shooting out of the ground. That's a total dramatization. However, the government has come forward to say that the fires burning beneath the city could go on for another hundred years. So, this will be a pretty cool attraction for a long time to come, and it'll probably only get creepier. Number 4. Glen Rio, New Mexico Glen Rio, New Mexico was once a bustling little town along Route 66. This town straddled the border between New Mexico and Texas, and was originally founded back in 1903 when the Pacific Railroad passed through the area. They had a station located in the town, complete with a post office and other businesses. In a 1946 guidebook on driving Highway 66, Glen Rio is described as a town populated by 84 people with a store, a gas station, and not a single tourist facility. That leads us to believe that the motel was constructed after 1946. However, that hotel is now decayed and in ruins, with its sign broken and the elements gradually reclaiming the rooms where people once slept. 
when the old Highway 66 became obsolete after 1956, so too did Glen Rio. It just kind of shriveled up and blew away, and now it remains haunted and creepy. The old closed-down diner with its silent cafe and peeling walls, and the gas station with its faded colors, and all the abandoned homes in the area. If I were moving from Texas to New Mexico, this is definitely not the place I'd want to spend a night. Number 3. Bannock, Montana Ghosts walk the streets of Bannock. This small abandoned town in Montana is a terrifying ruin, arrested in decay and absolutely creepy. The town was originally founded in 1862 when a small group set up shop on the banks of the Grasshopper Creek. After finding some gold, the settlement began to grow. The town was named Bannock after the Bannock indigenous peoples who had lived in the region. And in 1863, just one year after the group sat down beside the creek, there were at least 5,000 people living in the town. But like most mining towns in the United States, not long after the initial boom came a huge bust. Of course, this was after a flood of prostitution, shootouts, hangings, robberies, outlaws, corrupted sheriffs, vigilante justice, and all kinds of other chaos besieged the city. Within just a year, the place went belly up. Now you can find the remains of one of the shortest lived towns ever, with the buildings still in surprisingly good condition and the ghosts still putting up quite a fuss. The state park officials have actually kept this town in pretty good condition. In the autumn months especially, tourists and ghost lovers alike flock here to try and catch a glimpse of one terror or another. Number 2. St. Elmo, Colorado In Colorado, St. Elmo is probably the creepiest ghost town you can find. The town is located 10,000 feet up in the Sawatch mountain range, and it was originally founded in 1880. Like most of the ghost towns on this list, it was found because of gold and silver. There were roughly 2,000 people in St. Elmo at its peak. But then one day, the mining industry vanished, and the people of the town disappeared. The railroad was no longer running in 1922, and the town was subsequently abandoned. However, the story gets even creepier. A rich family moved into the abandoned town in 1881 with the hopes that they could keep it alive. They began to rent cabins and to try to make a living for themselves. But according to legend, the family never left. Their youngest daughter, Annabelle, still haunts the streets of St. Elmo today. She was supposedly a cruel and unusual woman in her life, often referred to by the few remaining townsfolk as Dirty Annie, because she would wander into the streets with her hair in tangles and a shotgun slung over her shoulder. Suffice it to say, she was a bit of a nut. But she can apparently still be found meandering about St. Elmo on a cold and lonely night, so you best be careful. Number 1. Terlingua, Texas Terlingua is located in southwest Texas. It's also the most visited ghost town in all of Texas. If you're into creepy desert towns, this one is right up your alley. The first settlement ever in the area was a small Mexican village above the Rio Grande. But after metal mercury was found nearby, the area became a bustling mining district. The local languages were both English and Spanish, along with some Native American languages. By the late 1880s, mercury began to be produced in mass quantities. The town was a big hit for miners and industrialists alike, until production began to decline in 1936, at which point pretty much everyone packed up and left. After 1940, the slim population of around 350 slowly declined until Terlingua was nothing but a bunch of rock and wood and stone. Now the town is completely abandoned and a popular tourist destination. You can visit the creepy cemetery with its dozens of wooden crosses staked into the ground. You can check out the remains of the mines and the encampments that the workers lived in. You can even go to the old Starlight Theater and see if you can spot a phantom working backstage. Many of the former buildings are still in relatively good condition. And if you're feeling brave, you can always show up in the night and see what happens. Though, not many people would recommend camping out alone in Terlingua with its long and treacherous past. Number 10. The San Jose The galley in San Jose is one of the most amazing discoveries ever found underwater. It's also worth billions of dollars. For centuries, this ship sat on the ocean floor off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia. It went down in flames back in 1708 after a battle with the British. This was commonplace at the time, as the British were basically terrorizers of the world's oceans, and it was the perfect spot for piracy since Cartagena is where the Spanish would load up all the goods from South America and send it on its way to Spain. However, this was no ordinary galleon. It had 62 cannons and sunk with about 600 passengers and around $20 billion worth of gold, jewels, and other precious metals. 
It stayed in the darkness of the ocean until 2015, when the government of Colombia announced that they had finally found it. Four years after that, in 2019, the galleon is still exactly where it's been ever since 1708. The only difference is that now it's at the center of a custody battle. According to the BBC, the Colombian government refuses to give out the exact location of the vessel, trying to prevent looters from getting to it, considering it's worth a literal fortune. The issue is that the American salvage company Sea Search Armada say that they actually found the ship in the 1980s, and they're trying to claim 50% of its contents. The Spanish are also involved since it was their ship. But the Colombian government is not ready to give away all that gold. Until the dispute is settled, the boat and its treasure will probably remain at the bottom of the ocean. Number 9. Lord Krishna's Lost City One of the more mysterious underwater discoveries is the lost city of Dwarka, also known as Lord Krishna's ancient city. So far as the legend goes, the city dates back to 9000 BC. It was allegedly built after Lord Krishna decided to construct a city off the western coast of India to protect his citizens against attacks from rival empires. The legend also says that the city of Dwarka was built in just one day by a divine architect. It was rumored to be magical, filled with 900 grand palaces decorated lavishly with gold and jewels like you could never even imagine. While there is a city with the same name, it's hard to tell whether it's the same as the ancient mythical city or not but it looks like the lost city might actually be real. It's probably not as fantastic as the stories claim, but everything big probably looked fantastic thousands of years ago. It very well could have been a city that sunk when the sea level changed somewhere around 3100 BC. Back in 1963, marine excavations apparently found sculptures and artifacts underwater at the site where Dwarka should be located. And even though this should have been a spectacular discovery, there's not actually been a lot of interest in digging any further. Ever since the first artifacts were found over 50 years ago, no proper excavations have been done. Number 8. A World War II Fighter Plane A very cool fighter plane from the Second World War has been pulled out of the water off the coast of Norway near the island of Sotra. While this kind of thing happens all the time, this particular warbird is fascinating because of its story and its impressive condition. As far as we know, the aircraft was forced into an emergency landing in 1943, and the pilot was miraculously rescued before the aircraft sunk to the bottom of the ocean. It was then uncovered in 2006 in shockingly good condition. Other than missing its canopy, the FW-190 fighter plane was in miraculous shape. The proper name for this fighter jet is the Focke Wolf FW-190A2, and it was the backbone of the German aerial forces. It used a twin radial engine and could lift more weight than the standard BF-109. It was used as a day fighter, a ground attack aircraft, and even as a night fighter. As for the plane rescued from the ocean, it's likely going to be restored and then put on display. Number 7. The Pelican Eel No list of amazing things discovered in the ocean would be complete without at least one horrifying creature. The creature on today's list is something called the Pelican Eel. It's an absolute freak of nature and probably shouldn't even exist. It's a deep sea eel that is very rarely seen by humans. The only specimens that have been found have been caught in fishing nets. The reason this weird fish is known as the pelican eel is because of its massive mouth. Kind of like how the pelican has a giant beak that it uses to swallow fish, much larger than it has any business eating. So too does the pelican eel have an enormous mouth that allows it to swallow prey much larger than itself. Its jaw operates on a specialized hinge, which swings down to open the eel's mouth like the jaws of death. And if that isn't freaky enough, the eel itself is one ugly monster. I mean, it can't help it, but still. Researchers think they have made the first direct observation of a pelican eel hunting for prey and captured the behavior on video. Science Magazine reports that researchers piloted a submarine to a depth of 1,000 meters in the Atlantic Ocean, about 1,500 kilometers off the coast of Portugal. The team spotted the eel not only inflating its head to form a pouch for catching prey, but also actively hunting and swimming after smaller fish. It lives anywhere from 2,000 to nearly 10,000 feet below the ocean, in the same area as giant squid and dumbo octopus. So it's not likely we will encounter one anytime soon. You have to be one tough cookie to survive this harsh deep sea environment. Number 6. Skeletons on the Antikythera Shipwreck the Antikythera shipwreck is the same shipwreck where the mysterious Antikythera mechanism was found in the Aegean Sea. The mechanism has often been referred to as the first ever computer, with some people claiming it could have its origins with alien technology, and others saying it was simply a technologically advanced piece of equipment designed by the Greeks. But aside from the mechanism, the shipwreck was full of other artifacts that everyone forgets to talk about. The most recent excavation in 2016 actually uncovered a human skull. The skull was found to be 2,000 years old, and it's providing researchers with the first DNA evidence ever recovered from this famous boat. 
According to the report from Live Science, the man was likely a crew member on the ship. However, the remains are still being analyzed. Hopefully, scientists will discover who was aboard this mysterious ship when it sank, and hopefully, this will shine some much-needed light on the origins of the Antikythera mechanism, which has been baffling scientists ever since 1901 when the ship was first found. Number 5. Portuguese Pyramid Most people are familiar with the mysterious underwater pyramid found off the coast of Japan, but an even newer and more mysterious pyramid has been found off the coast of Portugal, and it has sent the scientific community into a maelstrom of confusion. According to local Portuguese news sources, this newest pyramid was found between the islands of Terceira and São Miguel. These reports also claim that the structure is perfectly square and has a height of roughly 300 feet. The Portuguese Hydrographic Institute of the Navy is currently analyzing the data to determine if the pyramid is man-made or just a geological feature. The area of the water in which the pyramid was discovered is roughly 20,000 years old. That means that if the pyramid were built above ground, it would have needed to be done at least 20,000 years ago before the area was submerged after the last ice age. If the pyramid turns out to be a construction of man, we're dealing with a very old and very primitive civilization and possibly even alien influence. Number 4. The Largest Canyon Ever Another amazing discovery, though not quite as mysterious, is the Zemchung Canyon, known as the largest and deepest submarine canyon in the world. It's hard to actually envision just how enormous this underwater region is. Take the Grand Canyon and put it underwater, and then make it even larger, and that's what you get. This place is located in the middle of the Bering Sea, and it's home to all kinds of nightmarish sea creatures, most of which we haven't even discovered yet. There are a few theories as to what caused such a massive crack in the bottom of the ocean. It could have been caused by underwater landslides, earthquakes, or violent storms. The total vertical height of the canyon is 8,530 feet, and in 2016, it was explored using a small submarine in an expedition sponsored by Greenpeace. However, the submarine only reached a depth of 1,757 feet. We still don't know what kind of horrors are waiting at the bottom of the deepest canyon in the ocean. Number 3. The Uluburun Shipwreck The Uluburun Shipwreck is one of the oldest and most amazing shipwrecks ever discovered. It was found off the coast of Turkey, and it likely originated from the Bronze Age, somewhere between 1330 and 1300 BC. When it sank, it was carrying a large cargo full of trading goods, probably from the Phoenicians. On its way to the Greek mainland, the ship sank for undetermined reasons. It then sat on the bottom of the ocean until it was discovered again in 1984. Since then, there have been over 10 expeditions to retrieve the plunder scattered across the wreckage including over 22,400 dives to bring up a total of at least 17 tons of artifacts. Even though the ship itself is still sitting at the bottom of the ocean, most of its treasure has already been salvaged. One of the largest items brought up was a shipment of 348 copper ingots. The ingots had originally been mined in Cyprus and were likely on their way to be traded for a vast amount of money. There were other amazing artifacts discovered as well, and most researchers agree that the cargo hold had been full of high-value items destined to be traded to the elite of whichever society the boat ended up in. In fact, the relics pulled from the ship closely resembled gift inventories that were typically traded between Egypt and the west of Asia. Number 2. Field of Metal Balls One of the last things anyone expects to find at the bottom of the ocean is a field of metal balls. This is a very strange discovery that happened back in 2015 when a team of German scientists was trolling the seafloor for organisms in the Atlantic Ocean. What they found instead was a field of metal balls. The metal balls were actually giant deposits of manganese nodules. It's the biggest find of its kind ever to be located underwater. The manganese nodules ranged in size from small orbs like golf balls to giant bowling balls. What is a manganese nodule? Well, each nodule is essentially a lump of metal that is crystallized around something like a fossil or a rock fragment. These large metal balls are invaluable to big tech companies, as they hold within them some of the rarest earth elements needed to manufacture everyday electronics, such as smartphones. And here comes the disturbing bit of information. If you're one of those people who worries about fracking, get ready to worry about underwater sea mining. Just recently, the United Nations handed out the first deep sea mining permits in which companies will be able to go underwater and harvest valuable metals just like these manganese nodules. There is no telling what kind of adverse effects will be felt from this mining around the world. Number 1. A Japanese World War II Submarine Last on the list for today is an amazing sunken Japanese World War II submarine recently located off the coast of Hawaii. This is by no means a rare discovery. 
After all the brutal sea battles in World War II, there are countless Japanese subs scattered across the sea floor from Hawaii to Japan. But this one is a little different. The Japanese Sintoku-class submarine had been lost since 1946 off the coast of Oahu. Researchers from the Hawaii Undersea Research Laboratory found it sitting under 2,300 feet of water. This type of submarine was the biggest ever built before humans started developing nuclear-powered subs. The main vessel was longer than a football field, while the submarine itself was used partly as an underwater aircraft carrier. A single Sintoku submarine could carry three float plane bombers underwater, then rise to the surface so that the aircrafts could launch from an undetected location. What makes this submarine so special is that only three of them were ever constructed. And by the end of World War II, the technology was already becoming outdated. This new submarine likely won't be salvaged. However, it's still a pretty amazing discovery to find sitting off the coast of one of America's premier tourist destinations. Which of these sunken discoveries impressed you the most? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and be sure to come back soon.